before this video starts guys we're hosting a giveaway for two lifetime SynapseX keys now SynapseX is one of the best paid executors out there so if you do want a chance to win of course just head down into the description below where you'll find a link to our discord server once you do join the discord server head over to the verified channel once you're into the verified channel go ahead and click on this button right here which says click to verify and that will give you the verified role then you can head down into the giveaways channel and you'll see the two giveaways right here now of course if you're subscribed to the channel you will be able to enter the bottom giveaway right here but if you do want to increase your chances of winning then you can boost the server so if you do have nitro you can simply boost the server and of course you will be able to enter the giveaway on top as well so good luck to everyone that does enter the giveaway now let's get back into the video hey what's going on guys welcome back to another video in this video we're going to be looking at the oxygen u executor now of course i do request you to watch the video to the very end as always uh, it's very important that you do that so you don't miss any important steps okay there's a lot of comments on many of my videos where people ask me for certain fixes to a few errors and i always mention all of the possible fixes within the video okay so make sure you save your time and my time and watch the video to the very end if you still have any questions at the end then feel free to join my discord server which will be in the description below and you can ask me questions there okay now with that being said let's jump straight into this video now of course i do want to mention this only works on windows 10 and 11 it will not work on mac linux or mobile devices okay so make sure you're on windows 10 or 11 and once you do check that um come over onto this icon right here if you're on windows 10 this icon will be in this corner right here okay so if you do uh use a keyboard which i assume you would uh you do have the windows key as well uh it should be on in the bottom left side of your keyboard uh you can also press that and the menu should come up okay so for windows 10 it will be in this corner and for windows 11 it will be right here so once you do click it search virus and threat protection go ahead and open that up now, if your page doesn't look similar to mine and you get an orange little warning on the top which says this application is managed by a third party organization or something along those lines then that means that you're not actively using virus and threat protection okay so what you need to do in that case is come over onto the search box again search control panel go into uninstall a program and find your antivirus in here okay so these are all of your programs on your computer you need to find the antivirus that you might be using right click it and click on uninstall okay so if you don't know what antivirus you have you need to find out okay i cannot help you with that okay that's completely you know your information that is something that you've set up and of course i would not know about that okay so make sure you find your antivirus and you can right click and click on install or if you don't want to uninstall your antivirus then you can also figure out how to disable the antivirus temporarily okay so once you do do that you can come into virus and threat protection um, or if you're using any other antivirus go into the settings of that and make sure you disable it okay so to disable it on this application go into manage settings and make sure you have real-time protection off okay it is really important that you have it off up next you will need a direct download for winra which i will leave in the description once again it is a free application uh, and you can install it on your computer okay so it's needed in order to extract the oxygen u folder okay so there will be two downloads in the description one will be the executor and the second one will be kernel okay or oh, sorry not kernel the second one will be winra okay so oxygen u and winra so make sure you download both of them once you do have those two downloaded um first open the winra install it once you have it installed then you can come over to the oxygen u uh, and then you can right click it make sure you see this little book icon that means that it's pretty much recognized by winra right click it go on to winra and click extract files to oxygen u okay so once you do click that it will extract it to this folder right here so make sure you have your virus and threat protection off when you do this now when you do actually download oxygen u uh, from the description and if it downloads down here and it gives you a little error and it blocks the download even if you do have your antivirus off then what you need to do is hold down control on your keyboard and press j that will take you to your download folder okay and the download might look something like this it might say deleted um if it does say deleted then download it again uh, and then when you do press ctrl j it will take you to this folder over here 
then you can approve the download manually from here even if it gets blocked down here okay so if that makes sense hopefully it does um if you do experience the issue then you will know what i'm talking about so once you do approve the download then you'll be able to of course do this step right here uh, and then what you want to do next is once you do have the folder extracted, you can delete this folder, which is the zipped file. Make sure you come back into virus and threat protection. I've showed you how to do that. Go into manage settings again, scroll all the way down, go into add or remove exclusions. Click on add an exclusion, choose folder, choose desktop and find your oxygen U folder. Okay, so mine is right here. If you don't have your yours at desktop and you have in your downloads folder then you need to go into your downloads folder so it depends where you have it downloaded all right so when you do find your oxygen u folder make sure it's the actual folder and not the zipped file that you originally downloaded uh just go ahead and single click it okay when you do single click it it will be highlighted as you can see on the screen make sure you don't double click it that will open up the folder okay so make sure you single click it and it's highlighted click select folder and make sure it's added into your exclusion so mine is right here once you do have that you can come back and turn on your real-time protection once again and that's pretty much all you have to do to install oxygen u okay up next you can open up this folder you can go into this and you can run this application it will ask you to run it as administrator you can click yes and it will start launching the oxygen u executor once it has fully loaded it will look something like this um in your case it's not going to look exactly like this because it will ask you to do a key system all right so it will ask you to get a key using the link uh sort of setup okay if you don't know how to do that you can watch my previous video which was on the kernel executor and i showed how to get the key um with the link system okay so this one is a little easier because you don't have to download the avg browser and there are only two checkpoints okay so it's a little faster so i would recommend it now they do have an ad blocker so you will not be able to bypass it in any way all right so you need to make sure that if it says uh, it give, if it gives you an error then try using another browser for me the standard browser that i use it has a it has an ad blocker so it didn't allow me to get the key so i had to go over to microsoft edge and i was able to get the key from there okay um, unlike kernel you don't have to copy a link and put it in your browser when you do open up oxygen U, it will automatically give you a page where you can get the key and i believe the key lasts for 24 hours so you only have to do this step every 24 hours now let's look at the ui design itself very similar to delta uh, when it comes to the actual script system um, so you can actually search for scripts for a game the delta one is currently down and this one does say it's currently down i think they use the both they both use the same system um so this is currently down so you by the by the time the video is up hopefully it will be working or maybe in a couple of days this will be back up but you will be able to search for scripts for games here so you don't have to manually look for them now when it comes to the settings page of course you've got topmost which will keep the application on top even if i drag other files behind it if I do turn that off you can see this file then becomes on top uh, you've also got auto launch so that will automatically launch the executor when you do go into a roblox game even if i do have this application closed save size so that will save the current size of the ui so if i open it again it will open up in that size so for example if i make it tiny um and if i don't have this on then i'm going to open it it will open up with the standard size when it, which looks like this uh, but if i do click on save size it should open up as it as you can see i don't know what ui shortcuts does i'm not quite sure what that is um and when it comes to disabled a dll updates you just leave this off okay you don't want to disable the updates because when it when roblox does update you won't really be able to get the latest update on time auto launch that will basically automatically inject the executor into the game uh, anti obs i believe this hides the executor or some scripts uh from the obs system i have tried in the past with the executors i couldn't really figure out what it does exactly fps unlocker now if you do have a monitor that supports more than 60 hertz and your pc can run more than 60 fps then this would be beneficial to you you'll be able to then run more than 60 frames on your monitor you can also block uh this called auto join so uh, this is pretty much it joins the the actual discord server of oxygen u and if you click it then it will disable that feature okay and you also got auto attach delay so you can change this if you want to so if you do use this feature 
and you want it to inst or inject after five seconds you can set it to five by default it's on one which is good just leave it at one uh, if your pc for some reason has issues um you know maybe it takes longer for you to launch into a roblox game or something then maybe set this a little higher um that way it gives a full time to fully load into the game so you could set it to maybe 15 or 20 seconds or maybe even 30 seconds depending on your pc um and that's pretty much it guys so i will jump into a game i will show you how this uh sort of auto inject works uh, so i would go ahead and turn on auto attach and you can pretty much see on one second delay how quick it is uh, when i do launch the game so here we go the game is now starting and it should launch up any second now here we go and you can see it has started the injection process already um so let me go ahead and open that up and also it's already injected so you can see um, the good thing about, I like about this executor is the actual console down here. So you can actually see when it's injected. Sometimes you can get confused. You don't know if it's injected. Um, but on this, luckily, it does show you that it has been injected and shows you the time as well. And then at this point, what you can do is grab any script of your choice, paste it in here and go ahead and execute the script. Uh, I personally have tried out a few scripts and I haven't got the 268 error. Um, Delta and Kernel were both getting the 268 error recently, but they both have patched that. So they're pretty much all three of the executors are in top condition right now. So it's pretty much personal preference what you do wish to use. If you do get an error which says fatal error when you do execute a script, that simply means that this executor does not support that script. You need to find a different script that works. Okay, so that's what the fatal error is. Um, the best fix to many of the problems are simply to re-download the oxygen u folder from uh, from the description and try running it again making sure your antivirus is off okay so if you do experience any problems maybe when it comes to injecting when it be, when it comes to launching the actual executor then i would recommend simply re-downloading the executor and trying again all right so that's pretty much the end of the video guys hopefully you did enjoy if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and as always thanks for watching